We're going to clean the area with some antisept, just where we're going to do those injections. So I'm going to use, I'm going to start just right around the orange line and we're just going to do a ring block all the way around. Um, and I'm going to use about four of these. So typically one, two, three, four. That usually works very nicely to anesthetize, but then we'll test the patient before we do anything else. All right, Carson, you ready? It's going to sting just a little bit, okay? You hang on with me there just a minute. just all the way around right above so you can kind of see where we started right there I'm just gonna back that right back up okay turn your head right there just relax so we're letting him get good and numb there Did you tell me if you feel anything Carson do you feel that Early, but yeah Barely? Yeah. How about back here? Feel anything? Yeah, I felt it. Yeah, I can feel that. Is it painful? No, no, it's not painful. But you just feel a touch? Yeah, I just feel it's like something touching. It's not, um, I barely feel it. Barely feel it. Okay. So I'll give him a couple more minutes here to get good and numb. And this is the PPP, platelet pore plasma. Okay, we have about um, 16 cc's of that. This is the PRP, the platelet-rich plasma. And to this, we're going to mix in two cc's of exosomes um, for his hair. So we will end up with about 12 cc's of PRP and exosomes, which I will inject in his hair, uh, concentrating on this area, but then also bringing it back through here to help him for future growth and to keep his hair nice and thick. He's got beautiful hair. So we're gonna address his area of concern and then just go back and forth with little aliquots all along to um, regenerate that and help prevent any hair loss back in here that he's experienced up top. So I am putting a 30 gauge half inch needle on the 1cc PRP and I usually will with 10 cc's of PRP so I will have um, five of these ready um, to go. So we're going to start um, injecting Carson. We're gonna start right here. I'm gonna stay just a little bit above the area where we numbed. And the area of his concern is this area right through here. You might feel a little bit of pressure, Carson. And I'm just doing little aliquots, like a 10th of a cc, all the way across. How are you doing, Carson? How much pain are you in, sir? Um, no. None. So again, we're gonna inject with a 30 gauge half inch and I just went all the way across and I'm gonna back up about a half an inch and I'm gonna start here again and go all the way across and just about a 10th of a cc with each little injection. So 10, I'm just, there's not much tissue. Very, it's very superficial. Well, I fill this area up, so I'm going to try to help him with preventing what's happening on the front side of his hair happening back in here. So that's why we're doing this area for him, because typically with men um, that have pattern baldness in their family, their balding area will be the this top part. You saw men that have the hair around the head, and then on top it's balder. So I'm concentrating it here where his concern is, but I'm also going back and forth across this area to help prevent him from having hair loss here. And it will act as thickening, thickening his hair as well. And again, about a half an inch back, a tenth of a cc. So you want to make about 10 injections across. So I'm just refilling those same five syringes that I had before. And I'm putting back on um, the 30 gauge 
half inch needle and we went back to here on Carson okay so I'm gonna make one more pass and then I'm gonna start at the front and go over it again for him Carson how are you doing sir Good. are you feeling any discomfort or pain no no so with that ring block he's completely anesthetized which I love the ring block it works great for that so now we have come all the way back to his crown so we're gonna start back at the front again areas of concern for him were this area here so we're gonna concentrate and make sure that we get that and help rejuvenate that And again, I'm gonna work on this side because this was another area of concern for him to try to rejuvenate. When you're doing hair restoration, if somebody, uh, their hairline has receded back to say here, um, so I wouldn't start down here. I would start about an inch in front of where their hairline stopped and start there and then gradually start bringing it forward. And notice he's having very little bleeding. And then I'm gonna go right back across the area again of concern for him. And I think it's real important to know that he's feeling none of this. And I'm just going back over those same areas here for Carson, making sure that we hit everything that's concerning to him. So next, I'm going to take the Revella pen. You guys have your own pen? We do, and it's amazing. And I'll tell you, I have the skin pen. I have the... Um, um, well, what is this? I don't know. What the Rebella microneedling pen. Oh. It's amazing. I've got the Rejuva pen. I've got the skin pen. And I almost always pick this one up. Why? Because it's light. Mm -hmm. It's cordless. Mm -hmm. I can do probably eight to ten patients with this pen before I have to recharge it. I love this pen. So the settings, your uh, depth of your needle is controlled here. So um, we're going to go, this is zero and it goes in 0.25 increments. So 0 0.25, 0 0.5, I'm gonna do about a 0.25 and I'm just gonna do a very light stamp over the area. And it's got um, 16 little um, yeah. needles on the end that are just tiny, tiny little needles. And it, I'm just gonna stamp because again, I don't want to shear and cut the hair follicles by going up and down or circles this is a light stamp to stimulate his own growth factors okay and I'm going to use the PPP um, and the, this is his PPP here again it's platelet poor plasma and I'm going to put just a tiny little bit on here and then I'm going to start rubbing it in get it all through his hair Then I'm gonna take the pen and I'm gonna put it on about a speed of three. It has six speeds, one through six. I like three, it's a good um, uh, to use for the hair restoration. And again, we're on about a 0.25. And we're just gonna start right here and we're gonna do just light stamps. I'm not pressing, I'm just stamping. And then I'm just gonna follow the little rows that I made with the injections. And again, this is to stimulate his own growth factors because the body is saying there's injury on the scalp. So we need to send 
collagen and growth factors and repair that damage. So this is stimulating Carson's own growth factors. I'm going to go back over it one more time to give him that nice light stamp. And you can see that it's very light. It's not, uh, not too deep. How much of that are you feeling, Carson? Um, just like a vibrating. No, I don't really feel it. He doesn't feel the needles. Your patients will love this procedure. And it works amazing, especially when you use two cc's of Rebella XO, the exosomes. Mm -hmm. The PRP by itself will have some effect, but you typically have to do three or four of those in a row about every four to six weeks. And you can do one of these and get an amazing result. And then to turn it off, you just simply hold down the top button and it shuts it off. Then we're going to take the rest of the, the PPP and I'm going to put it on here. And it's acting like a little band-aid to seal up all those little holes that we just created. I'm just massaging the hand. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to just wipe off the excess. Now, talk, Carson, let's talk about post care. Okay. So, what do you need to do after having this procedure? Let's tell him what he needs to do. Who wants to start? No shampoo today. Gotcha. No exercise. Wait, I can't hear anything. <laughs> Sleep with a pillow. Yeah. Propped uh, up. Propped up. Perfect. Gotcha. Yes. So for the next 24, 48 hours, we put a lot of fluid in there. So you want to sleep with a couple of pillows underneath your head and sleep on your back because we don't want the fluid to pull to one side. Gotcha. You might have a slight headache for 24 hours after this procedure. Okay. We put a lot of fluid in there and you've had a lot of little sticks. The numbing will wear off in about an hour. Gotcha. So I would say take some Tylenol, stay away from Advil, Motrin, Ibuprofen for the next um, five days. If you need anything for a headache, um, again, it should be very mild if you get a headache, uh, take some Tylenol. And it's always good to take some before the numbing wears off and prevent it. Easy, what easy. questions do you have, sir? Um, so I can shampoo tomorrow then? Like tomorrow, after 24 hours? Yes, tomorrow will be fine. So when you get home today, what you can do if you want, I prefer that you just, uh, you can rinse off, because uh, we put a lot of stuff on your head. You can rinse it off with just some cool water and just pat it dry. Okay. Um, if it's bugging you, you can do that, but I wouldn't use any shampoo until tomorrow. Gotcha. Okay. Any other questions? I should be good. 